What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Monkey Flop here, and today, where do I even begin? The PlayStation 5 has been officially revealed. I'm honestly really excited about this one. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to hit a like, comment down below, support your boy. If you guys are new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The PlayStation 5 has been officially revealed. We get to see what the box looks like. Now, they got two versions of the PlayStation 5. One PlayStation 5 with the disk drive built into it, and then a digital, and I'm assuming would be a more cost-effective PlayStation 5, a little bit cheaper, um, and it's going to be digital only. They do have some extra accessories to go with it. They got a headset, they have a media remote, so you can watch Netflix, Hulu, Twitch, YouTube, you name it. You'll be able to watch it on the PlayStation 5. Very exciting stuff. Now. One thing that I actually wanted to talk about and dive into a little bit further is the design of the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 design is very ambitious. You gotta admit it. There's not too many other consoles that are going as loud as PlayStation did. And this is not something that we're used to with PlayStation. I remember when they first showed off the PlayStation 5 controller, I personally didn't like it. I, I wasn't a fan of it. But seeing it next to the PlayStation 5, it makes so much more sense. And I love the <laughs> Go figure. I love the design of the PlayStation 5. Now, I'm sure some of you guys might have some mixed emotions. And I'd love to hear those in those comments down below in regards to what the PlayStation 5 looks like. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be people that are saying it looks beautiful. And then other people probably have the same thoughts that when I thought of the PlayStation 5 controller. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to be jumping into the games and other things that they talked about. Before we do that, I did want to point out, what's this? A PlayStation 5 home screen menu? Now, they showed it in between two games, um, but it was very interesting that they showed this image in particular. So I'm wondering and I'm curious, is that the PlayStation 5 home screen? Let me know in those comments. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into the games. Uh, <laughs> it was very interesting to see how they transition from a little taste of history of what PlayStation is into where PlayStation is going into the future. On the screen, the games you see um, featured from here on out are gonna be on the PlayStation 5. The first game they showed was GTA 5. And I'm like, okay, GTA 5. I had a little cliffhanger going on and I was thinking like, okay, they're gonna show GTA 6. They're gonna show GTA 6. No, they're gonna continue with Grand Theft Auto 5 onto the PlayStation 5. This is honestly wild because of PlayStation, <laughs> PlayStation 3 had GTA 5. It got transitioned over to PlayStation 4 and now it's getting transitioned over to PlayStation 5. Good news is if you're a Grand Theft Auto 5 player and have PlayStation Plus, you will get 1 million in-game credits per month until the game gets released on the PlayStation 5. Um, so if that's exciting for you guys, I think I might jump back into GTA 5 just to check it out and get those extra moolah coming in. They also showcased a new Spider-Man, Miles, which, oh my gosh, that was amazing. I wasn't expecting them to start off with the game such as that. They also showcased Ratchet and Clank. There's so many different games that they featured. We got a look at Gran Turismo 7, which I honestly was expecting from PlayStation. Odd World, dude, it's been so long since we've seen a game from Odd World, and I kind of get chills. It's pretty cool. They showcased everything from NBA 2K 2021, which looks amazing, by the way. Demon Souls is coming to the PlayStation 5. That's a good thing. Horizon Zero Dawn. Heck, we got Sackboy returning to the PlayStation 5. I'm sure Madam Meme's gonna be very excited about that one. In fact, I know she's already excited about that one. <laughs> awesome stuff coming out of PlayStation. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys have not seen the entire thing, you can go to their YouTube channel and you could cherry pick which uh, games you wanna see and the trailers you want to see. I wanted to live stream my reaction to it and it would have been amazing because I like literally did tear up. Um, but yeah, YouTube's a little funky right now and 
I want to protect the channel. I hope you guys understand that. But I wanted to give you guys my perspective and my thoughts on the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 5 games. PlayStation 5 games lineup is amazing. I mean, Horizon Zero Dawn 2, Spider-Man, Gran Turismo 7, uh, Sackboy even, Oddworld. There's so many games that it Ratchet and Clank, there's Demon Souls. <laughs> There's so many games that I can list off in this. It is crazy. And the fact that it's got a solid lineup and, you know, everything in between has got me really excited about the PlayStation 5. Are you guys excited? Let me know in those comments down below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to hit a like, comment down below, support your boy. If you guys are new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on, and I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome. PlayStation.